Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. So today we're doing a full face of Ilia. I just picked up their new cool nudes palette in the recent Sephora VIB sale. And I thought I would just go ahead and play around with that today. But not only are we doing that, I am starting, I guess like a new series here on my channel. I don't have a name for it yet, but you'll see it in the uh, title of this video when you click on it. Um, I'm gonna be spotlighting my favorite brands. And this is not going to be like a timely thing. I'm not going to do like one a month or, you know, two a month or one every other month. It's really just going to be whenever I feel on my heart that I want to share some love with a company that I feel like is doing good and their products are so good and the quality is there. And um, that's why we're talking about Ilya today. Um, I love this brand. I They're actually... A more recent discovery of mine I did not jump into clean beauty and they were one of the first brands that I tested out it actually took me a while to really try out their stuff and ever since I've been hooked so not only are their products just good quality products that wear well throughout the day these are products that I'm reaching for regularly not just when I sit here and turn on the camera these are products that are in my everyday makeup bag so not only are the products amazing, but I feel like the just the company itself, the brand, the people behind the scenes, whenever I am dealing with Ilya, communicating with them for whatever reason it may be, I feel like there's just such a professionalism and a respect um, that they have for me as a creator. And I really do feel that from them. They're some of the sweetest and kindest people that I've had the pleasure of just communicating with. And I wanted to share some love today. So we're doing a full face of Ilya. I'm gonna share with y'all some of my favorite products that I've tried from the brand and also some newer products that I'm still kind of trying out. And we're just gonna have fun today and just play with some makeup. This video is not sponsored. It's not in collaboration. They do, they have no idea that I'm creating this video. This is just me wanting to give back and to show just my respect and my love for their products and the brand. And I will continue to do this with other brands as well as I see fit. So without further ado, make sure you grab something to drink or grab a snack and let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna show some love to one of my favorite brands, which is Ilya. Not only are their products um, really great, uh, they actually wear well. They're just good, solid makeup products that I feel like I can always count on. Not only that, but just the brand itself. Um, I just love the brand. And anytime I've ever had any kind of communication with anyone from the brand, it's always been so pleasant, so respectful, so professional. Um, and I just love that about this company. And um, when you are communicating with quite a few brands like myself, um, you know, you really get to see how professional different companies are and how unprofessional different companies are. And Ilya is one of those brands that I just have the best experience with. They are always so incredibly kind and sweet and I love their makeup products. Um, so it's just all around for me. It's one of my favorite brands to use. So I've already applied a little bit of a facial oil. I'm going to take their True Skin Radiant Priming Serum. This is uh, an aloe-based formula. And it applies much like a, like a serum in your skincare routine. It does have little gold flecks in it, which I don't find to be noticeable on the skin. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. But I'm just going to take... I did like maybe four drops and I'm just going to smooth this across the skin. So for the base, I love both of these products. I think they're just solid, solid base products. And just depending on the kind of coverage level that you like and just your preference, um, I think I, both of them will work for a variety of different people. So the first is their Ilia, uh, their Ilia. Hello, their True Skin Serum Foundation. This is a great solid medium coverage foundation. It has a satin finish to it, nothing overly dewy. It's definitely not matte. And it's a great, great product. I like mixing this in with moisturizer, wearing it on its own, um, and it's got a solid medium coverage. So if you want that coverage, I would go for this one. If you just want a great everyday, kind of no makeup makeup type of product, the Super Serum Skin Tint is 
you, this is what you're going to want to go for. It has an SPF of 40. It's got great skincare ingredients like niacinamide, squalane, hyaluronic acid, no coconut ingredients in here. This is is so incredibly good. I do have a full review and wear test with this product and I was blown away with how this product performed because skin tints, and not even just skin tints, but tinted SPFs, I have the hardest time finding tinted SPFs that work. This one works. Um, I'm not saying it's the most long wearing product, but as it does wear off throughout the day, it doesn't look patchy or it wears off very, very well. I think my only beef with the product is the packaging gets very, very messy. I store this upright, so I'm not even laying it down and it's just, it's very, very, very messy. But I mean, that's just a minor issue. I'm just obsessed with this. I love this product so much. So I'm just going to wear this on its own today. I'm not even going to mix it in with the foundation because I find that this is all the coverage I really need. You do need to shake it very, very well. And I'm currently using the shade ST8. I think I need to get a darker shade. Um, this one works for me, but it is a little light for me because I've been using self tanner. And another thing is, uh, I've mentioned this several times, but when you first apply it, it looks a lot lighter, but as it sets into the skin, it does oxidize or adjust to your skin tone. So that's just something to be aware of. When you first pump it out, it looks a little scary, but I'm gonna actually use this with a damp sponge. My favorite way to apply it was my, is with my fingertips. This is super easy, but today I'm just gonna use a sponge. And another thing with this product, if you want to build it up, it is buildable. Um, I would recommend using a brush to build it up. So I'm going to take a little bit more on the back of my hand. And I'm going to take a dense brush like this. And I'm just going to build this up in the areas where I want a little bit more coverage. You can definitely build this up. I'd say it at its maximum, it's a solid light coverage. When you first apply it, it's pretty sheer but you can definitely build it up to a light coverage. And something to keep in mind, this is a very dewy product. So the more you build it up, the more dewy it's going to look on the skin. So just something to keep in mind if you have more oily skin or you don't like a very dewy look. All right, so for concealer, I have their True Skin Serum Concealer. I have the shade SC5. That's the one I've used the longest. However, it's a little too dark for me. So during the Sephora VIB sale, I picked up the shade SC4. Um, and interestingly enough, they sent me the old packaging, even though they've already used their new packaging. So I guess this is old stock that they sent me. Um, I ordered their, uh, eyeshadow palette as well from Sephora and they sent it to me in the new packaging. So I'm kind of confused as to why I got the old packaging, but whatever. I'm assuming it's not expired or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to take the shade SC5. And I'm going to apply this right to the inner corners of my eyes. It's a very, very apricot-y tone, which I love for under the eyes because I find that it just helps to counteract a little bit of that darkness. I don't have a ton. Um, I'm not a huge like color correcting believer, I guess. Um, but I feel like a nice peachiness under the eyes really does make a difference. And then I'm going to take the shade SC4 and... I'm gonna use that a little bit more liberally under my eyes, on little spots I have. And then I'm just go, gonna go in with my damp sponge again and blend that out. All right, so I don't have a, a powder from them. So I'm just gonna take my Pacifica Cherry Velvet Matte setting powder for the under eyes and the t-zone and then i'm going to take a tiny bit of my neutral mattifier by pacifica for the rest of my face these have just been my go-to powders i love them so much and they're so affordable um i don't know why there's just something magical about these so i'm gonna go ahead and set my face down because i'm looking quite shiny all right so for highlighter i'm gonna use their new uh, Daylight Highlighting Powder in Decades. This is gorgeous. I love the formula on these. It reminds me of the RMS Luminizing Powder. 
that I also love as well. So I'm just going to take this on a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to go over it with my powder brush just to soften that up a bit. Oh, so pretty though. It just gives the skin such a beautiful glow. And then I'm going to take the Drawn In Night Light Bronzing Powder. Again, another one of my favorites. Love this bronzer. Blush, I have two of their cream formulas. I have their uh, Multi-Use Pigment, Color Haze Multi-Use Pigment in Waking Up. And then I have their Multi-Stick in Ladybird. I think I'm going to go with Ladybird. It's a little bit more of a mauve undertone. Uh, waking Up is a little bit more warm. And since we're doing a more cool toned look on the eyes, I think Ladybird is going to be perfect. So I'm just going to take my brush. I like to go off of the stick with my brush rather than swiping it on. I'm just going to pat that on the cheeks. All right, so that is it for the skin. Our skin is looking absolutely gorgeous. I love this. I love this base. I love all these products. They just work so well together and they look so beautiful on the skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera. I don't have any brow products from them. And then we'll come back and we'll move on to my brand new eyeshadow palette. All right, so on to the eyeshadow. Um, they actually sent me their eye primer. To be completely honest, I really have not been playing with this at all. I don't have any opinions on it. I am going to use it today, um, but yeah, I don't have any solid opinions on this. I normally don't use eye primer. Uh, for me, I've just never found a need for it, but I will continue to play around with this and uh, see what I think about it. Um, it just shows up clear on the lids, so... It's not tinted or it's not going to cancel out any kind of veining or anything. I will say it does create a little bit of a stickiness to the lids, which is nice because, again, that's just going to create that nice grip for the shadows that you apply on top. So uh, I will keep you all updated on that. So for the eyeshadows, the palette that I had before is their Warm Nude Palette. I rave about this a lot. I think this is a great great just everyday neutral palette if you like warm tones um and the formula on these is incredible i really really enjoy this but y'all know my love for purple and i i had to pick up the cool one in the sephora sale because i love the formula so much and there were so many just gorgeous purple tones in here i was like why do i not own this so this is their cool nude palette and this is what we're going to be playing with today uh, i adore the formula on these it's great super creamy buttery blends out uh beautifully the shimmers in here they're not chunky they apply like just wet goodness um i adore the formula on these so i've never i haven't even swatched this yet so maybe let's swatch it real quick i'll show y'all what they look like and then we'll get into the actual look all right so that is the palette swatched there is one two there's three matte shades so all three of these shades are matte this side is a little more interesting so this is like a true foiled metallic if you can see that on my hand right there this shade is really interesting it looked matte in the pan but when you swatch it it has a sheen to it, this middle shade right here. Oh, hello, right there. That middle shade, it has a nice sheen to it. And then this is more of kind of the formula that we have going on up here. So nothing chunky, nothing, nothing overly glittery, really buttery, soft, and smooth. I'm so excited to dip into this. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this shade, which I think is called Teardrop. And I'm just going to take this on a large fluffy brush. And I'm just going to start working this all over the lid and then take it up through the crease. Alright, so now I'm going to go in to this shade, which is called Just. That's that kind of satin finish, I think I would describe it. Alright, and I'm just going to work this on the outer corner of my eye. And then slowly start to work that through the crease.
All right, so now I'm gonna go into the shade Unravel, which is this dark purple kind of glittery shade. I'm gonna take it on an angled brush and I'm just gonna press this into my lash line right at the outer corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Overcome, which is the more cranberry burgundy shade. I'm gonna take it on a pencil brush and I'm gonna run this along my lower lash line. All right, and then I'm gonna take the shade Teardrop on my fluffy brush and I'm gonna buff that out. And then I'm gonna take the shade Infinity with my finger and I'm just going to press this on the center of my lid. And then I'm gonna go in with my fluffing, fluffy blending brush and just blend that out. All right, so I am gonna go back in with my angled brush with a little bit of Unravel and I'm gonna wing it out slightly. All right, so now I'm gonna take the shade Undo and I'm gonna take it on a clean brush and I'm gonna use this shade to kind of clean up the outer edge of my shadow. Now, if you have a deeper complexion, you probably don't wanna use this shade, it'll be too light. Um, so you can just take your face powder or even if you're too fair, this shade might be a little too dark for this. Um, but just use your face powder or translucent powder and you can use this to kind of clean up any areas that are looking a little patchy or just a little too harsh. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with their Limitless Lash Mascara, which is one of my favorites. All right, so while my mascara is drying, I'm gonna go and move on to the lips. Uh, I don't believe they have lip liners. So I'm gonna take my Bodyography Barely There lip pencil. It's just a nude pencil. I'm gonna line my lips. All right, now you can definitely use their multi-stick on the lips as well, but I'm gonna use my favorite lipstick, which is Amber Light. It's so incredibly comfortable and moisturizing. It just feels like you're wearing a lip balm. Guys, that is it. That completes this look. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that maybe this uh, helped you if you've been kind of looking at Ilia products, but you don't really know what's good or you know, what would be um, a good product for you. I hope this is helpful. If you have any further questions or comments, please comment below. Uh, I'd be more than happy to help you. But thank you so much for watching. As always, remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.